One can of Coca-Cola contains 35 grams of sugar for 300 milliliters of water. That is like taking seven teaspoons of sugar in your tea, and that is about this much sugar for 330 grams of water. That is a very sugary drink. Now I know what you're thinking, that's okay because I take Coke Zero or Diet Coke. And yes, you're right, that doesn't have sugar in it, but they have their own health complications that may actually surprise you. Let me explain. Hello, welcome back to the channel where we're all about helping you to live your best life through optimizing your health. And if we're going to really optimize our health, we not only want to add things into our life, what that is going to um, help our health, that's going to boost our health, but to, to also boost our health, we also have to take away things that take from our health. And unfortunately, that is also Coke. Now, to fully understand why Coke is so popular, and possibly, from my opinion, I think that the effects of Coke, although that we know, most of us know that it's not healthy, I think the level at which we know it's not healthy is very underestimated. And to understand why that's, that's the case and why it's so popular across the entire world, you have to understand the company. And the company is huge. It started well over a century ago and it is worth, and when I found this out, I was absolutely mind blown. It's worth over $261 billion. That is the net worth of Coca-Cola. It is absolutely huge. And so to get to that point, they have to have a huge marketing campaign sustained over a long period of time. So they have done phenomenally well to um, make the company so big and make Coca-Cola so popular. And so I fully understand that Coke is so loved by so many of you. However, we do have to understand the impact that it has on our health because although it is a nice beverage to have in the moment, we do need to understand the risk that it's going to have on our health in the short term, but also in the long term. So let's start with, with Coke, Coca-Cola, the original Coke that uses sugar as its main sweetener, or as its only sweetener actually. So has loads of loads of sugar, as already demonstrated, has 35 grams in a can. Now, why is that a problem? It's a problem because it's firstly refined sugar. So what they've done, like in a lot of foods and beverages nowadays, which is they've taken that sugar from, from the sugar cane and they've just taken the sugar part, which is very unnatural because historically, when we have sugar in our diet, we'll have it in the form of things like fruit, which has things like fiber associated with it, which helps to decrease the amount of sugar that goes into our blood all at once. So it actually gives us slightly slower release. When we have refined sugar, as it is in Coke, that sugar is all by itself. And so it's ready to go in. It goes straight into your, your blood and it spikes that sugar as high as anything that, that you can take. And why is that a problem? Spiking our sugar is a problem because the, the high variability is the issue. So it's quite normal to get fluctuations in our blood sugar, but when it goes beyond the normal limits, that is a problem because the body then has to work extra hard to try and keep the sugar at an optimal level because high blood sugar will damage the cells in your body as it does in diabetes, which often causes issues with the eyes, the kidneys, and the vasculature going to the nerves. But it, it can also then contribute to things like heart disease and cancers and all sorts of different things. But it's also gonna to contribute to insulin resistance because those high spikes are gonna require more insulin to then bring it down to its optimal level. But in the short term, it can actually decrease your energy levels, decrease your focus, your concentration, put you in a poorer mood. So if you're somebody that gets these symptoms, Maybe you get that mid-afternoon slump, that lack of energy. It could be because you're, you're having a lot of sugar, such as from Coca-Cola. Now, the other thing that, that Coke has is phosphoric acid. And that has been known for quite a while now to decrease our bone density. And that would then lead to osteoporosis and an increase 
in fracture levels. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that's fine because I drink Diet Coke or Coke Zero and that doesn't have any sugar in. And you're right. That does mean that you're not going to get the same level of harmful effects that the Coca-Cola, the original Coke, is going to give you. However, it has its own issues. Now, um, Coke Zero and Diet Coke, these are both going to be fairly similar in the respects that I'm going to talk about them in. And that is that they still contain phosphoric acid, so they're going to still going to leach the calcium from your bones. Phosphoric acid basically makes calcium harder to be absorbed uh, into your bones and therefore can lead to the osteoporosis, as I already mentioned. But you also would notice that although it doesn't have any sugar, it still is very, very sweet. And so to get that sweetness, they have to replace it with something. And in the case of both of these drinks, they replace it with aspartame. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener and it doesn't come without its costs, as you can probably imagine. Although it's zero calories, although it doesn't have, it's not sugar, so it doesn't spike the insulin in the same way, it doesn't spike your blood sugar in the same way, it does have its own issues. There's a few things that I'm gonna mention here, but I think there's a lot more that we probably don't know that we're not fully aware of. Because of the fact it's artificial, and as I've mentioned in previous videos, my general rule is if you keep it natural, as raw and natural as possible, the health implications are going to be a lot less of an issue. It doesn't mean you're guaranteed to have a harmful effect from it. You're much less likely to have an issue. One of the issues, it can affect your gut bacteria. There's been a lot of research and a lot more hype recently about gut bacteria, but aspartame has been known to have a harmful negative impact on it which then can lead to issues with digestion, absorbing certain uh, minerals and nutrients. And there is a strong link between your gut and your nervous system. So if you have issues with your gut, you can develop issues with your nervous system, which can potentially lead to things like anxiety, depression, or even lack of focus, concentration, the things that I spoke about previously, because it's just affecting the nervous system in a, in a negative way. Now, the other thing about Coke Zero and Diet Coke is I know that a lot of people will drink it because they think they're losing weight or that they think it's gonna help them to lose weight. But unfortunately, the research suggests otherwise. They've actually seen correlations with people that drink these types of drinks and actually having a weight gain. And now there's gonna be a number of reasons why that may be. One of them is because of the aspartame, because it's an artificial sweetener, and it's empty calories, it doesn't really give you any satiety. It doesn't really give you that same level of satisfaction as whole nutritious food will do. And so the thought process is that it's actually gonna make you crave more sugar, more plants and more food, which means you're actually gonna eat more um, by having aspartame or by having these drinks. So if you're somebody that's drinking it because you're trying to lose weight, it's really not the way to go. And I knew that's the way they, they have advertised it, but it's not really the best drink if you're trying to lose weight. You're much better to have a natural drink. The best drink for losing weight is obviously gonna be water because it's exactly what your body needs and it doesn't have anything that the body doesn't want that's then harmful to the body or that can have a negative impact on you trying to lose weight. So I hope you found that insightful. There is a lot more information to go on this topic. I've just highlighted some of the main things and I just want to make more people aware of the implications of Coke. And this isn't just limited to Coke. The issues will apply to other soda drinks such as Fanta and Sprite and, and the, all the rest of them. My general rule, as I've mentioned already, is try to keep it natural. If you have it as natural as possible, the health implications tend to be a lot less. So I just don't think it's worth the risk when there is a much better alternative and you can get used to other alternatives. An alternative that I absolutely love is kombucha. And I did a, re a video recently on this that you can just check out just right there that I would highly recommend you watch and you check out. And I will see you on my next video. By the way, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.